Hello and welcome to Malta Bittersweet. In this video, I want to show you a typical modern two-bed, two-bath apartment for rent located on the border of Slema and St. Julian's neighborhood. I will also share with you my top six tips on what to watch out for when renting a similar apartment in Malta. Are you thinking of moving to Malta for a while? Have you got a job here and you want to find an apartment to rent? Or maybe you're just interested in living conditions here in Malta. If any of this is true, you're at the right spot. Just make sure you stay tuned till the end to find out my top three pros and three cons of living in this kind of modern apartment so you know exactly what to pay attention to when viewing apartments to rent yourself. The apartment is located in Tagiorni district of St. Julian's and is on the border between St. Julian's and Stema and the location is perfect as it offers very easy access to places such as Baluza Bay, Slema and Xira Promenade. It's only one kilometer from Spinola Bay and yet it is inland to feel quiet and residential. As you can see, the area is quite charming. It offers a mix of old traditional Maltese buildings and a new built apartment blocks that are squeezed in between. You also have all the shops and pharmacy on your doorstep as well. The street the apartment is located at is small, but not a drive through so the traffic is immediately limited. As you can see, we have some charming old properties here and some traditional Maltese townhouses, but our apartment is new and modern. It's a lovely Sunday morning today and I hope you can hear the birds singing. There aren't many trees in Malta, but in good neighborhoods like this one, people grow flowers in pots and it's so beautiful. This is an example of what I mentioned before, of an old apartments and new ones squeezed in between. Now, can you see the yellow door? Can you guess what's inside? I bet you would never guess. There is a horse living there full time, together with a carriage and most probably a hidden Cinderella. I managed to take some pics of the horse so you can see for yourself. Before we enter the apartment, let's have a further look at the neighboring streets of Tagiorni St. Julian's. Now back to the main topic. Once we enter the door, you will see there is an intercom on the right, entry with access code and some letter boxes. There is a lift and quite a narrow staircase.
The apartment is located on the first floor. And as we enter, we go straight to the living dining open plan. Here you've got some storage units, TV unit, some coffee table, sofa, soft chair. You see the front balcony with a view of Maltese townhouses. Let's have a look how it looks outside. On a sunny day, it looks a little bit better like this, but you will never have full sunshine here because the streets are quite narrow and the buildings opposite usually block the light. And this is typical of the urban areas in Malta, unless you live in a penthouse. Now, we're back to the dining space. It's a dining table that doubles up as an office. And you can see open plan kitchen with microwave, oven, induction hub, dishwasher, and all the usual amenities. And then we continue to the second part of the apartment that is more private. So there's a corridor with some storage for shoes. You've got master bedroom on the left. You've got second bedroom straight on. And you've got the main bathroom to the right. Now we enter the main bedroom. This is an ensuite bedroom with large double bed, two bedside tables with lamps, a chest of drawers. You can also see a large wardrobe, AC unit, and a small bathroom that has a shower and a toilet in it. Mm, the shower is very modern and also there is um, a mirror and lots of storage. Okay, now we continue to the main bathroom. This one is a bit bigger. It has a washing machine and tumble dryer. The shower is bigger. There's a toilet, obviously, um, a larger sink, more storage, and also a large mirror. Okay, now we continue to the last room of the apartment, which is the second bedroom. It also has a double bed, some chair and lots of storage as well. There is enough space to put a desk, for instance, and you can also enter the terrace from both bedrooms. And now we come to the end of the trip. And earlier in the video, I said, I will share with you top six tips what to watch out for when renting a similar apartment in Malta. So I divided this into three things I loved about this apartment. I will start from the positives. So number one, the location. It's lovely, very close to everywhere, walking distance to Baluta Bay, you're surrounded by nice Maltese traditional style buildings and it's clean and quiet as well. Number two, the apartment is light and airy and has a modern feel. As you can see, the, the floor is beautiful and light. It's very hard to clean, but it looks beautiful. 
it makes the apartment look fresh, the, the furniture is new, um, everything is bright and there's a lot of sunlight despite the fact that the apartment is on the first floor. There are no dark rooms in this apartment. Number three, comfortable furniture. So pay attention, the sofa is amazing. It's four, four seater, large, soft texture, large coffee table, very comfortable, the same for the table and the chairs. Um, then we have uh, new mattresses in both bedrooms, uh, lots of storage uh, in both bedrooms as well, and also in the bathroom. Now let's get to the negatives. Number one, insufficient kitchen counter space. If you're someone who likes to cook and prepare food from scratch, you will not have enough space in this kitchen despite it being modern. Number two, fake windows in both bathrooms. Have you noticed that? Bathrooms seem to have windows, but they are fake. They face the wall. You can't open them, so there is no ventilation and no fresh air. Number three, terrace facing the wall. So there is a large terrace in the apartment, but it's facing the wall, meaning there is no view and never any sunshine. This may be typical for lower floor living, so Please keep, it, keep this in mind. And also the balcony to the front is also very, very small. And finally, the most important thing, the money. The rent for this apartment is 1,300 euros per month plus bills. But typically for Malta, the apartment came fully furnished and fully equipped. What this means is that all the kitchenware, tableware and cookware were provided together with bed linen, towels, iron, you name it. So in reality, you do not have to spend any money at all after moving in, as absolutely all is provided and brand new. That's all for me for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more videos like this about everyday life in Malta, Please let me know in the comments below. And if you find this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe.